Alman Brown Strauger gave his name to the electromechanical telephone exchange technology that his invention and patent inspired. Early years Strauger was born on Penfield, near Rochester, New York. Little information is available about his early life, but it is known that he was the grandson of the second settler and first miller in Penfield. In her history of the town of Penfield, Catherine Thompson reports that if his mother gave her children a task, he and his brothers would spend most of their time figuring out a machine that would do the task for them. He taught school in Penfield for a time, and served in the 8th New York Volunteer Cavalry during the American Civil War. It is believed that he fought in the Second Battle of Bull Run near Manassas, Virginia. After the Civil War, it appears he first became a country school teacher before he became an undertaker. He is variously attributed as living in El Dorado, Kansas or Topeka, Kansas, and finally Kansas City, Missouri. It is not clear where his idea of an automatic telephone exchange was originally conceived, but his patent application identifies him as being a resident of Kansas City, Missouri on March 10, 1891. Rotary Dialing Convinced that it should be subscribers, rather than the operator, who chose who was called, anecdotally. Strauger's undertaken business was losing clients to a competitor whose telephone operator wife was intercepting and redirecting everyone who called. Strauger, he first conceived his invention in 1888, and patented the automatic telephone exchange in 1891. It is reported that he initially constructed a model of his invention from a round collar box and some straight pins. Finances while he may have come up with the idea, he was not alone in his endeavors and sought the assistance of his nephew William and others with the knowledge of electricity and money to realize his concepts. With this help the Strauger Automatic Telephone Exchange Company was formed and it installed and opened the first commercial exchange in La Porte. Indiana on November 3, 1892, with about 75 subscribers and capacity for 99. He married Susan A. from Massachusetts in 1897 as his second wife. Strauger sold his patents to his associates in 1896 for $1,800 and sold his share in the Automatic Electric Company for $10,000 in 1898. His patents subsequently sold to Bell Systems for $2.5 million in 1916. The company's engineers continued development of Strauger's designs and submitted several patents in the names of its employees. It also underwent several name changes. Strauger himself seems to have not taken part in this further development. He subsequently moved to St. Petersburg, Florida and appears to have returned to being an undertaker, as H.P. Bussey Funeral Home Records report an unidentified body being moved for Mr. Strauger in December 1899. The same funeral home subsequently buried Strauger himself. Strauger was a man of some wealth at his death and was reported as owning at least a city block of property. Death he died, aged 62, of an aneurysm after suffering from anemia at St. Petersburg, Pinellas County, Florida and was buried in Greenwood Cemetery the next day. His grave is marked with the traditional white headstone with an inscription that reads, Lieutenant A.B. Strauger, Co. A. A.T.N.Y. Cav. Widow. He was survived by his widow Susan A. Strauger, after her death in Tampa, Florida, on April 14, 1921, her obituary appeared in the St. Petersburg Times, claiming she had additional revolutionary Strauger designs, but she had refused to make them public while she was alive because only others would profit from her husband's designs. She had claimed that her husband had only received $10,000 for his invention, when he should have received a million. Legacy A bronze plaque to commemorate his invention was placed on his grave in 1945 by telephone company officials. Strauger was admitted to the Hall of Fame of the U.S. 
Independent Telephone Association in 1965. Apart from his invention, his name has also been given to a locomotive and a company business award. In 2003, the Verizon Foundation awarded $4,500 to Pinellas Heritage, Inc., and the Pinellas Genealogy Society in Strauger's memory. The funds were used to develop a website to impart the history of the cemetery where Strauger is buried, and to restore two Civil War memorials. The Greenwood Cemetery Project won an Organization Achievement Award from the Florida Trust for Historic Preservation. Patents U.S. Patent 0, 447,918 Strauger Switch Automatic Telephone Exchange, March 10, 1891.